My microphone. We are good to go. Hello, hello. I believe we are live. Yes, we are. We are live. Okay, good. Let's get our tempo class started. Hopefully you can hear me okay. If not, don't worry. I am recording it with a microphone. So after the live stream, once we publish the video, I can go back over and do some audio editing. Um, hopefully my students are joining. I'll try to keep an eye on the chat. So if you have any questions, feel free to, to type them in and um, we'll take it from there. I'm just gonna run a normal class as we would every week if you guys are standing here in front of me. So um, as usual, we'll start with a warm up. I wanna concentrate a little bit on basics today. I wanna go through a little bit more detail than I normally would. Since this is being recorded, it's a good opportunity to go back and pause and go back and have a, have a look at some of the finer details, right? So everything will hopefully come together uh, in the end. All right, let's get started. So start every class the same way as we always do. Attention stance, down your horse, meditating position. Up, and salutation. Excellent. Let's get started with a warm up. Let's get some jumping jacks going. And as we do in class, I'd like to try to stay together. We'll do 30 jumping jacks. I'll count out every 10. Ready? Begin. position. Good. Left neutral bow, in and out. Hands are always up, always on the red. Nice and agile. And switch. 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 Good. And running on the spot. Get that blood moving. Knees up. And back to running. And try to kick yourself. Good. And stop. Good. Let's loosen up our arms around to the front. To the back. And one forward, one back. Change direction. Cross the front. And stretch. So sides, up and over, other side, hands on your hips, feet together, and with that waist, try to keep your head straight, change direction. Good, widen your stance, now the trunk of the body around. Change direction. Good, right hand up and lean over. Other side. Good, turn your right foot. Go down on your right leg. A good knife edge on the left. Try to keep your heel on the ground and just ease down into it. Remember, breathe. Hey, Marcella's here. <laughs> and change sides. Good, up to the middle, walk your feet out. Put your hands down for balance. Just ease down into it. And feet together, push up position. 10 push ups, ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. On your backs. Feet up, hands across the chest, 30 crunches. Begin. Good. 
Good, and when you're done, come up to a seated position, butterfly stretch. Grab your ankles, use your elbows to push down on your legs. Remember to breathe. Good, and put your right foot out, put your left leg where it is. Lean over, touch your toes. And change. Good, everyone up. Uh, any questions pop up so far? No. Anyway, we'll just get warmed up. Start out with some blocks. So from attention stance, down your horse. Starting with an upward block, always with the right hand. I'll start with my left so I mirror you. Ready? Let's go very, very slowly, concentrating on exactly the right technique. So with the right hand, you're starting to punch up to the sky, twist at the end. Your fist should finish right around your ear level. Get that nice bend in your arm. So if you were blocking something, you're deflecting it. You're not trying to stop it. You're trying to deflect it. Left arm, two. Hands come together, and now at the end. Three. Four, nice and slow. Tense your muscles. Five. Tense, 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 relax. Six. Good, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Good. Now we relax and let's do medium pace. So, again, you're just concentrating on making sure you have the right technique. You don't need any speed. You don't even really need any power right now. Just technique. Medium speed so you're relaxed the whole time. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, hard and fast, everyone. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 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 all right, why don't you come over here? Perfect. Now we have a guest. <laughs> Good. So we just finished with the upper blocks. We we'll go down to your horse position, and let's go with the inward blocks. We're going to start with our left hand. You guys start with your right hand. That way we mirror each other. So we'll start really, really slow, concentrating on technique. Come up to a chamber position and across. Good. And again, I'm talking about correct technique, your fist should be lined up with your right elbow, maybe just above it. You should have a good 45 degree angle here in your block. And two, up and across, nice and stiff, nice and slow. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now, medium speed, totally relaxed, but concentrating on good technique. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Hard and fast. Key eye every block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, turn your hands. Outward block, an outward block. Don't forget that minor move where our returning hand brushes the bicep with every block. Okay? This will come into play later when we start working on. Short form one. I really want to concentrate on the minor moves today. So from a chamber position, nice and stiff, 
nice and slow. One. Oh, we're starting with the left. <laughs> we're starting with the left. left. All right, here we go. Start with the left. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. Medium pace. Nice and relaxed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hard and fast. Ki everyone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Shake your hands. Last one. Downward blocks. Downward blocks. And remember, hand comes up to the shoulder. Your minor move goes across. Then you pull in for the block. Okay? So if you guys are starting with your right hand, we'll start with the left hand. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Ready? Nice and stiff. Concentrate on technique. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, nice and relaxed, medium pace. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hard and fast, Ki everyone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. 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 Attention stands. Well done. All right. Let's put those blocks into motion with our first kata, our first form, short form one. And again, we're gonna run through this slow, maybe medium, maybe fast, but I really wanted to do it slow. And I wanna think about what we just did with those minor moves in between the blocks. I'll walk you through it. So we'll start from attention stance, down your horse, meditating position. Starting with the inward blocks, one. Two. Now, when we go to three, our attacker is coming from over here. The first move as our feet come together is that minor move and then step out with the block. As we step back, we got the minor move, step back with the block. Good. Let's start over from the beginning and let's do that. We have it at the beginning as well. So starting from a meditating horse, we step back with our first block. As our feet come together, this hand is starting to come up, and then you finish with the block. Same thing here, as our feet come together, we know we're gonna do an outward block in this direction. Our feet come together, we have that minor move, and step out with the block. Back again, minor move, major move. Now, we've got an upward block in that direction. So as our feet come together, our hands will come together like this. So we come together here and step out with the left upper block. Good. As our feet come together, our hands come together as they pass each other and step back with that upper block. Great, son. You're not even looking at me. You can nail it. <laughs> All right. Now we got the block, the downward block from a kick coming from behind us. As you step forward, you've got that minor move ready to chamber and step out with that right block. Perfect. Now, as you step back, I realize you can't see this, but that's okay. We'll do it again in a second. And step back with the block. Turn and meditative position. Up. Let's try something. Let's stand as if we're standing in class. So it feels awkward for me to put my back to the camera. 
but I think this will work. I'm going to start, when we both do that, we'll start in this direction. So now we should all be facing the same direction. Same exercise, short form one. Step one, two. All right. So, tension stance, down on a horse, meditating position. One. Good. Two. Looking over your left shoulder, come up to chamber position. Three. Stepping back again, you've got that minor move, major move. Good. Looking over your left shoulder, you have an upward block from this direction. Your feet come together and out. Good. As your feet come together, your hands come together, block. Now you got the downward block coming from the right. You come together, good chamber, major move. Minor move, major move. Turn to meditate. All right, straight from here, let's go all the way through the form. Ready? One, two, look to the left, three, four, look over your left shoulder, five, six, look over your right shoulder, seven, eight, Turn to meditate. Right from here, one more time, all the way through. Try to go at our pace. Ready? Begin. That's it. And up and down. Okay. Hopefully that worked. I'm looking forward to hearing some of your feedback. All right, good. We'll see what works and what doesn't. We'll play with this every week and we'll tweak it as we go along. Good. All right, let's work on some strikes. So from a tension stance, step back to a left neutral bow. Perfect. Now we're going to talk about jabs. We're going to do jabs, we're going to do punches, and we're going to do a few kicks. Okay? What I want to do, hmm. Let's go in this direction. Give me a left neutral bow facing this direction. Good, this way you can see it. All right, when we do our jab, we're going straight from where our guard is, straight out and straight back, okay? What we normally have a tendency to do, and a lot of us don't even realize we're doing it, we kind of pull back a little bit and put a little bit more into it, right? You want to get a little bit more power, right? Ah, boom, we don't want to do that. We want point of origin. Straight from here, out back, out back. All right, let's give that a try. And pay attention to your form. Pay attention to the basics. Make sure you're not pulling back, okay? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And switch. Good. We'll face this direction. And right your travel. Good. Everybody's in a right neutral bow. Same thing. Now remember, a jab is a punch. So you're going to get a little bit of rotation in there, and you're hitting with those first two knuckles. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And switch. <laughs> we'll fix this direction. Okay. Now we've got jab. Reverse punch. Now, there's two things I want you to keep in mind when we do this reverse punch. Most importantly, that forward bow. We're going from a neutral bow to a forward bow. You guys already know the reasoning, that power, that extension, right? That's what we want out of this. The second thing I want you to do this time is keep that left hand up, more like a boxer's punch. We want to protect our head. Okay, so we're going to do jab, reverse with a good forward bow. One, and return. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, and switch. Good, everybody's going to right into your bow. Same thing. Ready? One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and switch. All right, everybody's on a left neutral bow. Let's throw in that front kick. So same thing, don't forget about the basics. Build on what we just learned. We know point of origin. We know good forward bow. Keeping that card up. As we throw that front kick, I want a thrust kick. All right? That means pulling those toes back. That means using those hips. That means making distance. If you're hitting the target, I got a partner. This is great. Okay. If I have uh, an opponent here and I want to use a thrust kick, you guys already know why we would use a thrust kick over a snap kick, right? A snap kick is going to do this. It's going to bring his head forward, right? A thrust kick is going to create distance, and that's what we want. So, all right. So, good thrust kick. Ready? Jab, reverse kick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, and switch. All right, everybody's in right neutral bow. The other thing to think about when you're throwing that kick, make sure you're keeping your hands forward. You're keeping your guard out in front of you between you and your opponent, okay? And you're not trapping this rear hand. It's very common to think about that kick so much. And you see this down here. Terrible, it's not doing you any good down there. Yeah, hey, that's why you're facing that direction. <laughs> okay, so remember, when you got this, you got this. When you do this kick, your hands are staying in front of you, okay? Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, and attention stance. Good job. Any questions? All right, no questions. I'm sweating out that coronavirus, so that's good. <laughs> All right, so let's do, how are we looking on time? 53, perfect. Let's do a few kicks. Um, since I have a partner here, we'll go ahead and do some partner work real quick. Let me grab a bag. <laughs> and for those of you at home, uh, just follow along, do the kicks the same. So we're gonna start out with, here we go, we'll start out with a lead leg round kick, all right? So again, thinking about those basics, scoot back a little bit, here we go. We're going to close our distance with our rear foot, okay? We're going to bring up our chamber, and then we're going to fire the kick. That knee is pointing towards the target, okay? You don't want to be out over here or something. That's a different kick. Lead leg round kick, you drag up, point the knee at the target, fire away. Don't forget about position three, or three in Germany. Um, you hear me go on about that quite a bit. We don't want to drop our leg. We want to kick and bring it back. And then that gives us options to move forward. Okay? So, um, you get to kick. We'll do, starting out with a uh, right neutral bow. This is, it helps for the camera. Let's do 10 drag up round kicks. Ready? One. Perfect. Two. Three. Four. Five. Good. Now, Marcel's a trained fighter, so he's keeping these hands up just like he's supposed to. But again, just like that front kick, it's very common for this hand to drop when you're doing the kick. Make sure you don't. Keep that out in front of you between you and your opponent. And six. Good. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. Good. And switch. All right, now everybody should be on a left neutral bow. 
If you start on left neutral bow, then you're in a right neutral bow now. It's okay. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. And relax. Perfect. All right. Now let's move to our rear leg round kicks. Now the rear leg round kick starts at the top, starts with your upper body and ends with your lower body. Your lower body follows, okay? We talked about this with the punches, right? We back up a step and we talk about that good forward bow punch. A good forward bow punch starts at the ground. Your foot moves, that pushes your hips, which pushes your body, your shoulders and everything right into that point. A rear leg round kick is the opposite. You're gonna start with your upper body. You're gonna switch your guard and swing that leg around, all right? And again, you wanna keep that nice plane for a round kick and work on trying to bring it back as well. So you're not here and then stepping back, okay? You want to be here and then bring it back. Really work on those muscles, work on that balance, work on that coordination. Everybody ready? Rear leg round kicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Everybody's feeling great, it looks like, by the comments. <laughs> All right, so that's some basics. That builds our foundation, right? Builds our stances, builds our bringing the team together to make those strikes. Now, what is Kempo famous for? We're famous for the self defense techniques, fast hands, things like that. Build up with that, you build up to that by having a strong foundation. We talked before about the ingredients, right? We talk about if you think about your tempo like food, if you have the best ingredients, the best tomatoes, the best olive oil, the best garlic, you're going to make an amazing meal. If you have terrible ingredients and the best recipe in the world, it's not going to be that good, okay? Our basics are our ingredients. Work on them, make them strong, and everything else will build on top of that. All right, let's go through some of our self-defense techniques. Starting at the top, we've got delayed sword. Now, delayed sword, we can practice two ways. We can practice off of a punch, or we can practice off of a lapel grab. The original curriculum was a grab. However, as a Kempoist, you don't want to let somebody grab you so you're going to react just as the grab comes in with a right arm ball. Yes. <laughs> Good. So let's let's face. We'll face the camera for the first one. All right. The grab is coming in. The punch is coming in. You're going to step back. Same move as short form one with an inward block. Good. Drag back to a cat. As you do, your check comes up. You snap that front kick and land with a hand sword. What does that look like? Um, Marcel comes in with the grab, I block it, I kick, and I got that hand sword. Now that kick triggers a reaction, right? That's what we do in Kempo. We like to set up our next move. That brings his head down, 
and lets me just slam them right here. Could be the mastoid, could be the carotid artery, could even be the collarbone. All right, whatever is available, you hit it as hard as you can. Good. Uh, I'll come at you. All right, so I'm coming with the grab. You step back with the block, snap kick, and hand sword. Good. Let's face the front. Everybody, let's do that a few times. All the way through. Ready? Move. Good. Attention stance. And move. Good. I'm going to attack you again. Ready? <laughs> Good, where's that check? That's right there, perfect. Let's do it again. I feel you, you, you knew that was coming up. Let's do it again. There we go, remember that left check? Yeah. And that's the other thing that's unique to Kempo as well. So people coming from other styles have a hard time with this, but once you learn it, it just becomes second nature. We love to use checks. A check protects us against a voluntary, maybe that right hand is coming, I got my check up, or an involuntary, maybe I've hit this and I've spun around and this arm just comes flying around, right? It protects you against an involuntary action. A check can also be a strike, right? You can use it as a gauge to get an opponent away from you. There's a lot of uses for it. The key is from day one, from the first technique, we want to start to ingrain that habit, all right? We want to start to get used to that from day one, all right? So why don't you attack me? You guys follow along at home? <laughs> all right, go. Yeah, there it is, right there, okay? I'll attack you. There we go, nice. Okay, second technique is off of a push. All right, we got the right. Now we're gonna come right into the middle. Exactly, more or less, that's it, good. So let's uh, do it in the air first, step by step. The first move is the same. You're stepping back to that right neutral bow. You're starting that inward block, but because it's a push, you're coming down on the arms. Good, forward bow punch. Keep that hand here. We call that threading, okay? Got a good forward bow, that left foot is twisted. All of that weight is going forward, and now you're gonna pull back to neutral bow and snap a back knuckle to the side of the head. All right, ready? Step back, block, punch, back. Good, remember the stances. Just the stances now, no hands. Work on this. Neutral bow, forward bow, neutral bow. Good, back up, one more time. Neutral bow, forward bow, neutral bow. Good, now let's put the hands in there. Step back, block, punch, back up. Good. Let's see what that looks like. So it's coming in with a push, lock, punch, back knuckle. All right, here we go. I'll come at Marcel. Yeah. Good. Excellent. Now, the timing. Timing of this one, as we build up, what we're working on right now, so nice and slow, you come in with a punch. We've got one, two, three. Okay, what you want to start to work towards is this speed here. Okay, punch, boom, boom, boom. Oh, you all right? <laughs> Hopefully that came out in the audio because that sounded great. Yeah. All right, so we got boom, 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 boom. And then what you're going to do is you're going to get that punch in that. Okay, right in between that. So one, two, three becomes one, two. Okay? That's what we're working towards. So again, the speed will come the more you practice. The more, go ahead and face the front, the more you practice. One, two, three, you get that good forward bow. Back again, one, two, three, and again. One, two, three. Then it becomes one, two. Yeah? But you gotta crawl before you can walk, you gotta walk before you can run. But that's the idea of the tongue. You wanna to get to down and up, something like that, okay? Good. So we've got right, come up the middle, now we got the left, all right? This one's more of a hooking round punch, perhaps, all right? This is 
sort of destruction. Sort of destruction. Let's face the front. The feet are exactly the same. You want to try to make this easy to build that base. The feet is right neutral bow. Good. Punch is coming from the left. So we've got that minor move, outward extended block. Okay, back up again. Stepping back, minor move, outward extended block. Good, up again. The end of it is just like the late sword. So, step back. Parry, block, cap, get that check up, kick, and land with an inward hand sword. Our hand is on the right hand side of our body, so it's going to fall low. We'll do that right now, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, give me a right with your belt. Perfect. You're coming in with the left punch, parry an outward block, kick. My hand is already on this side, and we're going to use anybody? Contouring angle. Remember contouring angle? Contouring angle. We're going to follow the body. A contouring angle follows the angle of the body to the target. All right? We talked about this. I can know and close my eyes, and I know where Marcel's head is by following his arm. Well, we're going to do the same. <laughs> With our attack, with our counter attack. <laughs> All right, so left punch comes in, step back, parry block, kick, contouring angle. We got that check up the whole time. All right, good. Why don't you do it? Everybody, I hope, is following along. Do the technique as many times as you can. Here we go. Good, and that check is up. Beautiful. Here we go. Good. Nice. Good. One more time facing the front. And boom. Excellent. Okay. Next up, kick. What if somebody tries to kick you? We have deflecting hammer. What I want you to notice about this is the move, the feet, are the same again. The hand is more or less moving along. Counterclockwise, right? We've got, I'll show you what I mean. We've got delayed sword. We've got alternating maces. We've got deflecting hammer. One, two, three. The feet are always the same. We're building a foundation and we're moving bits and pieces as we come along. All right? So a right kick is coming in. Um, we'll show it to you real quick. So a right kick is coming in. You're going to step back, walk and shuffle in with an inward elbow, right? We got that check, there's that check again, right? I'm controlling the body here as well, okay? So let's face the front, kick is coming in, we step back with a block, and then we shuffle forward with an inward elbow, low check. <laughs> this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Now we're, moving, now we're moving the checks a little bit. And this is key for actually building our proficiency in Kempo. Right? We're always thinking about where is the next move from our opponent. We're thinking about our next move. But we're also thinking about what, if, what is the next thing that could happen. Right. So as we're blocking, our hand is going down, which means our other hand is going up. Why? Why? I don't know. <laughs> I'll show you why in a minute. No, but you show, show me. <laughs> yeah. And then as my right hand continues this plane, comes into the elbow, I now have a low check because that is the probability of the, the next attack. So what happens here, if I come at Marcel and I come in with a, I'm gonna come at you, right? If I come in with this kick, this punch might be right behind it, right? It's not the yeah, right? Coming in like this, which is why that first check as you block that first check is up. Oh, look at that. He has an answer for it. Perfect. Then, as he comes in with the elbow, my hands are down. And that's why his check is low, right? There's very little chance that I'm going to not eat that elbow. This is a great, I love this technique. So, but if by some miracle I don't, I might be able to get an elbow. So I can't get in there. He's got that check there. I can't, there's nothing I can do. So, high check, low check, all right? So let's face the front again. Step back with a downward, bounce forward with that inward elbow. Ready? Move. Good. Again. Move. Good. I want you to think about the feet now, right? Just like we did before. 
This is kind of a bouncing loop. You're coming back to a good neutral bow, but then you're immediately springing forward. All right, so practice that a couple of times. You go back and forward. You can think about a snake coiling and then bouncing. You can think about, um, I don't know, a cat getting ready to bounce, all right? But basically, you're compressing that and coming forward. So try that a couple of times and move. Just the feet. Ready? Move. Good. And you're going to do neutral bow when you finish. All right? So let's put our hands back in there. Move. Good. And again. Ready? Move. All right. Last tip. Since this is being recorded, I don't feel like I'm overloading you guys. You can pause and rewind whenever you want. Give you as much information as possible. Last tip on this one. This motion doesn't stop. Okay, when we do this technique, we're not blocking and then coming forward. Okay, you want to form kind of a cir circular motion. It's more elliptical, really. You don't want to do this big, you don't want to drop your hands behind you, right? But you want to get this nice, sort of straight, round. You see what I'm doing there? Work on that. So the arm never moves, the, the arm never stops moving. All right? All right, let's try it with an attacker. Why don't you come at me first and go. Good. I'll come at you. Good. And again, I'll come at you again. I'm going to attack you. I'm going to attack you. All right, there we go. Excellent. One more time to the front. Everybody now, nice and strong. Key eye with that last try. Ready? Move. Excellent. All right. Up next, capture twigs. How are we looking on time? I think we're looking pretty good, right? Yeah, good. I might get quite a few of these tonight. Capture twigs. Think about the names for a minute, right? This is something that gave me a lot of trouble at the beginning. Um, but once you start to understand the code and what the words mean, it starts to become easier to put them together with what the technique is, all right? So captured twigs, twigs are arms. Captured, well, they're, they gotta be grabbed in some way, they gotta be closed in. Marcel standing there uses twigs, that's captured twigs, okay? Let's go back to the beginning for a second. Delayed sword, delayed. Delayed means held back a little bit, right? It means postponed, like it didn't immediately, that's what's happening. Delayed sword, you're blocking, this hand is staying over here for some reason while you do other things. That is the delayed part, okay? Alternating maces, because you've got this piston action. A mace is a fist, all right? That's a mace. The sword is obviously the hand sword, so delayed sword, alternating maces, like pistons, alternating, right? And now with deflecting hammer, you're deflecting the leg with a hammer strike. Back of your fist is a hammer strike. Boom, and now we've got captured twigs. Captured twigs, a bear hug from behind, we'll face the front, bear hug from behind. When somebody grabs us, we counter grab. So you just sort of try to hold that arm with that left and drop down into your, stand, your horse stance and hit him with that hammer fist, okay? From here, you pull to that cat stance and slingshot that obscure elbow right up under the chin, okay? And that's a violent move. That's a, a, a just a, you're, you're putting all of your weight into this, this violent move to break those arms free, okay? His arms are here, and as you step out, you're hoping that that hammer fist that first hammer fist of the groin loosens the arms up a little bit, okay? And then you pull with your hips to that cat stance, boom, and you slingshot oh, that elbow right into the teeth, okay? Now, remember, just like we did from the beginning, delayed sword, boom, good stance, alternating maces, boom, good stance, 
Sword of destruction. Boom. Good foundation. Be strong. Same thing here. Drop. Good horse position. Drop your weight. Don't let that person lock on and pick you up. You're going to make yourself heavier. Boom. And you're going to strike him at the same time. Okay? So remember, good stance. Nice reaction. Move. And twist. Good. All right. Ready? And move. Good. All right. Let's attack you. <laughs> Stand right here in the front. Perfect. Good. As soon as you feel the arms coming around you, you react, just like Marcel did there. You really want to avoid somebody locking on. That might change the dynamic entirely. Okay? Just the same as before. We we're talking about the laid sword. Just as the hand is coming in, exactly. You're reacting before it happens. Here's what's happening here. Your arms are coming around. You react, hit, and good. Hold to that cat stance. Yeah, so. uh -oh. Give me a microphone. Lost my microphone. Give me a second. Do -do -do. We'll edit this out later. Oh. <laughs> uh, da -da -da -da. There we go. All right. And again. There we go. Boom. Bam. That's it. Good. All right. You attack me. All right. Face the front. Do that a couple more times. Ready? Move. Good. You're pulling that right foot in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Step out with the left. Boom. And pull that right foot in to a cap. Yeah. Beautiful. Ready? Move. Turn. Move. One more time. Ready? Move. Excellent. Good. All right. Next up, grasp of death. Grasp of death is a headlock. Grasp of death is probably somebody surprising you off to the grid face of the front. Probably somebody, well, now you can see me in the mirror. <laughs> probably somebody surprising you. And coming in, boom, getting you in a headlock here. Now, there's a number of things that we need to think about with a headlock. Okay? Um, first off, let's think about the name, right? Grasp of death. Death is anything that involves choking you in some way, perhaps uh, killing you, right? That's death. Right? So you always think about a choke. So a headlock is death, uh, cross of death we have later, okay? Um, anything that could choke you out. All right. So a few quick things on this one. Why don't you come on over here, All right? The headlock comes on. Right? There's a few things you want to do. One of the first things you do is you turn your head towards the body and you tuck your chin. This does two things. Okay, One, it obviously protects your airway. Okay, You're also going to grab. Right? You're going to do whatever you can to not be choked. You've got your chin tucked, protecting your airway. Now, I said it did two things. So the first thing is protecting your airway. The second thing He's got another hand here, okay, and he might want to punch me, okay, by, by tucking my chin, I'm giving him the top of my head. Yeah, most people are not, exactly, he knows what that feels like probably. Most people aren't going to want to punch the top of your head. They're going to try to go for the face. The top of your head, very, very hard, okay? So you're tucking your chin, you're protecting your airway, you're protecting your face, and your counter ground. Good. You're going to let's back up so we can see feet. There we go. And you are going to drop your weight forward, and you're going to reach under, and you're going to grab a big chunk of meat right off the inside of the thigh. And that's what's going to happen. It's going to trigger a reaction. That's going to give you the opportunity to get this off of your head into a nice arm bar here, and then boom, punch right down here to the mass really probably, and hopefully go for the knockout punch. But at least We've got him in a much more uncomfortable position. We're now safe. You can drive him to the ground, you can run away, do all kinds of fun things with that. All right. So let's do it in the air. We'll face forward and do it together. The headlock comes on. You're being choked. You tuck your chin, you counter grab, you step forward and you grab. Big pinch. As soon as you do that, this is where it gets a little bit complicated. You got to move your arms and your feet together. 
you slide up and you pull that arm up and over and down into an arm bar. Good, I've got his wrist in this hand and this, my forearm, is locking his arm down. Then, now I got him in a lock, I can release this because I'm gonna punch down and get out. Yes, good. All right, let's do it together now, ready? Bend over like you're being choked, counter drive, tuck your chin, move forward, pinch, slide forward, get that arm off, and punch. Boom, good. Again, all together now, ready? Choked, tuck, counter grab, pinch, up and over, punch. Good, all right, let's see it. You guys are following along at home, right? Yes, good, excellent, here we go. <laughs> tuck your chin, <laughs> tuck your chin, counter grab, there you go, pinch. Yep, good, that's it, boom, very good. Now, I couldn't see him, but I'm pretty sure he did that perfectly. <laughs> the other common mistake on this one is leaning forward when you're uh, when you're coming around. So if you're if you're choking me, right? Boom. Come around here. A common mistake because I'm already low. A common mistake is to stay low. You don't want to do that because if I miss this and he pulls, there's a lot of things he can do. And he can pull me off guard, pull me off balance, right? Remember in Kempo. If we want to get lower, we use our legs, right? Working on keeping that good posture, keep that back straight, all right? That's what we want to do every time. So as you come around, straighten your body up to finish the technique, okay? Here we go. <laughs> oh, sorry. Counter down, pinch, come around, arm bar and punch. Beautiful, good. <laughs> <laughs> jiu jitsu is like that. We're in the right now. There's a lot of jiu jitsu in Kempo. Did you know that the original name of American Kempo Karate, which is what we practice under Ed Parker's lineage, the original name was Kempo Jiu Jitsu? Yes, because if you've seen it, we have a lot of arm locks and in the upper belts, you'll see a lot more locks and bolts. The problem was when Ed Parker brought that from Hawaii to continental United States, Utah and California, Nobody knew what jujitsu was. This was back in the 50s, and jujitsu didn't have a name like it does today. So he changed it to Kempo Karate because people were starting to recognize what karate was. And uh, for marketing purposes, it changed from Kempo Jiu-Jitsu to Kempo Karate. But it still holds true the lineage of the Chinese and the Japanese, right? The Japanese Jiu-Jitsu, Japanese Karate, in the Chinese Kempo, which is the more of the rounded works that we have. But you didn't come to hear me talk. Let's do some more movement. All right, so uh, grasp of death. Let's do it again. Right. I'm gonna attack you. Yeah, you. You need more practice than I do. Ready? <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, good, all right. Everybody now, facing the front. Let's do it in the air. Ready, and move. Yeah. Yeah. One more time, nice and strong. Ready, bend over like you're being choked. And move. Good. All right. Let's get another one in, shall we? After grasp of death, checking the storm. Checking the storm is a club attack. All right. We have a choice between a stick and a, and a noodle. We're going with the stick. <laughs> That's all right. You've learned how to do this. All right. So the, the, we'll show you real quick, right? The idea is don't get hit. <laughs> that's, our, that's our concept in Kempo. Don't get hit, blocking, evading, parrying, checking, do whatever you can to not get hit. In this particular technique, we are going to, it's an overhead club attack, stepping through. I am going to move with a parry, get that shield up, okay? And I'm off the line. I'm far enough that that, also didn't hit my leg, right? So you're just basically jumping off to the right into a cat stance. Let's face the back. Let's drop the stick here for a second, all right? Just so you can get the footwork, right? You're basically going towards maybe four o'clock. If you had a clock on the floor, 12 o'clock, three o'clock. You want to go to about four o'clock with this one, right? You're jumping to the side, carry outward block, into a left cat. 
Good. Back up again. Ready? Move. Good. Back up again. Move. Good. Then we're already set up for that front kick. Okay, what's going to happen here once you grab that stick? <clears throat> so the stick is coming in. You go off to the side. You're ready to go right into the groin. Land. Side kick. And then a back kick. Now, I, if, if you still have this for some reason, right? <laughs> On the way out, I mean, I've hit him in the head now, I've kicked him in the groin, I've kicked out his knee, he's in bad shape. But if he still has this, I go against the thumbs, as we know, and I strike onto the radial nerve. Anywhere around here is good for now. We'll get into the more specifics later. And now I have the weapon, okay? Good, all right, so one more time. Stick is coming in, off to the side, carry block, kick, kick, back knuckle, all right? Now, ideally, I want to kick that front leg, but because of Marcel's position, I changed the target. But for practice, I actually want to go for that front leg, boom, kick this out. You see how much more awkward that was for him? It also sets up that face better. Okay? Careful if you're working with a partner. Um, the knees are very dangerous, even in the dojo. So you always want to have good control pushing down on those knees. Okay, all right, good. Let's face the front so we can all do it together. And stick is coming in. You step off to the side, parry block, front snap kick, gauge. You land with the gauge because you know that next thing you're going to do is that side kick and then back knuckle. Again, thinking about this back knuckle, your hand is out here in front of you. You don't need to wind up and swing it out, okay? You've already done a bit of damage. We'll start from the beginning. I'll show you what I mean, right? Stick is coming in. You've parried block, kicked in the groin. You've kicked off the knee. This, with your, your weight coming forward, is enough power into that back knuckle, hitting the right targets to cause enough damage to give you the opportunity to get away, all right? Ideally, you have the weapon now, and the threat is over. Okay, here we go. Stick is coming in, step off to the right, parry block, kick, kick, back knuckle. Again, ooh, our checks. We didn't talk about our checks. Remember that check. So, grab the stick again. You come in with the attack. Boom, boom. Where's my right hand? My right hand is right out here as a check. Let's come over here. Boom, <laughs> right here is a check, why? He still has a left hand, right? He now has missed this. Am I coming with that, right? If this is, uh, I'm gonna go, right? If this is somebody, if he's willing to hit you with a weapon, the guy's a little off, right? Or girl, or whatever, monster, alien, whatever it is, okay? Um, they're just gonna come in swinging. So we got those checks, keep those checks up. So if I come in at Marcel, he steps off, boom, boom. That right check comes up right here, just like that. Boom, there you go, kick. That's it, gauge, kick, and back knuckle. Great. All right, let's face the front. Let's run through that again a few more times. Ready? Stick is coming in. Step off. Parry block. Kick, kick, back knuckle. Beautiful. Ready? All the way through now. Move. Take your time with it. Just like we were doing at the beginning. When we're doing something so basic, like an upward block, we're doing it really slow and we're building the muscle memory. Okay? That's what we're doing with this. Work on it slow. Boom. Boom. And then, as it becomes more natural, where you're not thinking about what the next move is, you already know what the next move is. When you're not thinking about it, you'll start to get faster and you won't even realize it, all right? Video yourself. It's a great tool. Video yourself doing these techniques. You also find little things that uh, you might be able to improve. All right, so again, let's go through a little bit slow. Ready, move. 
Yes. Yeah. Good. And move. Yes. 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 And move. Yes. 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 One more time. Ready? Move. Yes. 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 Excellent. Good. How are we looking? Ooh, we're right at time. That's perfect. So next week, We'll pick it up from there and work on the last three techniques on the yellow belt card. Mace of aggression, attacking mace and sword and hammer. All right, so it's plenty to look forward to next week. Excellent. Let's bow out. Any questions before we end? Let's see here. No, there's no questions because everybody's too busy doing their Kempo. You don't have time to walk over the computer and start typing stuff, right? All right. Anyway, you guys all know how to get a hold of me. I'm always available. All right, especially during these times. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Don't touch anybody. <laughs> oh, well. just just with the legs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We were both disinfected on the way in. We're good, and we'll be disinfected again on the way out. All right. Attention stance. Done. Worse. Meditate. Up. And salutation. Excellent, guys. Thank you very much.